Amen, y'all. It must be the truth, okay? It must be the truth. We had to reset the video. Want you all to share. Want you all to come right back in. We're going to finish this thing out strong. God is going to be glorified. Come back in. Come back in. It must be the truth. Yes, the enemy don't want this to get out. The Pharaoh spirit is mad. The Pharaoh is mad. Pharaoh is mad. So we're going to just jump right back in because I know you all are going to tune right back in. And you can always hit that replay button. Always hit that replay button and it says right here I have surely seen the affliction of my people who are in Egypt and have heard their cry on account of their taskmasters for I know their sorrows and that is something that we need to give God praise for he says and that talks about how good of a God that we have that he knows what it is that is ailing us he knows what it is that is our heart cry he is not a God that is not touched by our feelings or our infirmity. He is not a God that does not check up on the status of his children and on the status of his people. And it says, the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people. God has surely seen what it is that you are going through who are in Egypt and have heard their cry on account of their taskmasters. For I know their sorrows. And what he's saying is, I know what you are dealing with day in and day out. I know what it is that is wrestling against you you in the spirit realm. I know what it is. And when he talks about the taskmaster, it says their cry on account of their taskmaster. Their taskmaster represents a strong man. It represents a stronghold. It can represent a generational curse where you take two steps and it looks like you go back three steps. Come on, somebody. But I want y'all to understand today that it is not Pharaoh. It is the Lord. God is using the two steps that you are taking in the three steps that you are going backwards for your good. It is all going to work out for your good. And it says even here, if we skip down to Exodus 3 as well as 9, it says, Now therefore, the cry of the children of Israel has come to me. So you all, as you have been praying, as you all have been fasting, as you have been believing in God, and as you've been crying out to the Lord, your cry has made it up to God. My goodness. I have also seen the oppression with which the Egyptians are oppressed pressing them. Come now therefore and I will send you to Pharaoh. And so here it is. I want you all to share the video. Share the video. Praise God. Amen. And it says even here, it says moreover I have also seen the oppression with which the Egyptians are oppressing them. Come now therefore and I will send you to Pharaoh so that you may bring forth my people, the children of Israel out of Egypt. So in this case you all, God was sending forth their deliverer my goodness that is good news to you today because God is sending forth your deliverer he's sending forth the person that's going to break you through to that next level he's sending forth the supervisor that's going to be promoting you he's sending forth the midwife that's going to help you birth what it is that is in your belly he is sending forth the deliverer so not only is our God when we talk about getting things done he's not just an emotional God he did not just get stuck with hearing their cries he did not just get stuck with hearing their sorrow. He did not just get stuck with looking at their oppression. He's not just an emotional God where he just got stuck in the realm of emotions, but he is a do it God. He is a God of action. So as he heard their cry, as he saw their oppression, as he heard your cry, as he saw your oppression, he began to prepare Moses, my goodness, to be their deliverer, begin to prepare him to go to that that taskmaster to go to that stronghold my gosh to bind up that strong man that strong man of poverty that strong man of lack that strong man of loneliness that strong man of sickness illness and disease to bind up that strong man of mental illness that is keeping you in oppression that is keeping you as a, a slavery to a taskmaster which is that strong man and we understand my goodness let's take a little time out we understand that we don't wrestle with flesh and blood. It's not that supervisor that you're going against. It's not just 
the, the, the repeated cycle that's taking place in your family. This is a spiritual warfare. So behind every Pharaoh spirit that's trying to keep you oppressed, that's trying to keep you being mocked, that's trying to keep you being ridiculed, behind that, behind that action or behavior is a spirit that is governing in that area in your life that is keeping you tied and connected to poverty that's keeping you tied and connected to depression that's keeping you tied and connected with not having the victory as the lord would want you to have it and so here it is god was raised up moses and he was sending moses to that pharaoh so god is sending somebody that is equal to come against the very thing that is holding you captive the very thing that is holding you in bondage that is coming against that addiction that is coming against Against that trauma. God is sending you a deliverer to deliver you out of your situation and you have to believe that my gosh and you have to receive that one today and so then it goes even further and it says I am indeed yes that's it y'all Exodus 4 and it is 16 I am indeed my goodness concerned about you and what has been done to you in Egypt so he's saying and we understand that Egypt represents our place of captivity okay I, and he says I am indeed concerned about you and what has been done to you in Egypt therefore I said I will bring you up out of the affliction of Egypt of the land of the Canaanites the Hittites the Amorites the Parasites the Hizzites and the Jebusites to a land flowing with milk and honey. So not only, and I want you all to share the video, please share the video, set another brother and sister free because we understand that today we're talking about it is not Pharaoh. Yeah, that's it. It is the Lord. And so here it is, you all. Not only is God sending forth your deliverer, not only is God sending forth your healer, not only is God making the way from you and it making the way for you as it even said to Moses he said come now therefore and I will send you to Pharaoh he didn't say I would send you to Pharaoh's servants or I will send you to the children of Israel he said I'm going to send you to the very thing that is holding my people captive I'm going to send you to the very stronghold I'm going to send you to the very strong man I'm going to send you to the very thing that is responsible yes for oppressing and afflicting my people and God is doing that even for you right now but as as we skip over it says and I will and, he, and it says I said I will bring you up out of the affliction of Egypt to the land of the Canaanites the Hittites the Amorites the Perizzites the Hittites and the Jebusites to a land flowing with milk and honey so God is getting ready to bring, bring you from captivity from enslavement from embarrassment, from being mocked, from being humiliated, from being close to it, but not close enough. He's getting ready to bring you from there to a land of milk and honey. So not only is God, not only is he in tune with our emotions, our cry, our oppression, what afflicts us, that's it. Not only is God a do it God, he is an action God. He's already got the deliverer so that he can send him to the very strong man and the very taskmaster that's coming against the people but God is a destiny God that means he has your destiny location already set up he said I'm getting ready to bring you out of bondage to a land of milk and honey so that is their destination so God is not going to bring you out and then have you wondering and you don't know which way that you're going he's going to bring you out and he already has the destiny location set this is the thing if you wander in the wilderness because of a lack of faith that is your decision, but it won't be because God did not have a place already for you to rest your head. It won't be because he already did not make provisions for you to come into a place of milk and honey. And we understand that milk and honey represents that promise that we were talking about originally. It represents that breakthrough. It represents exactly what many of us have been going through where you're close to the promise and it looked like instead of the breakthrough taking place, it looked like captivity has taken place. It looked like you're taking two steps forward and then it looks like three steps have even pushed you back. And so in this case, you all, he's taking them out of the place of captivity and he has already a leader that's going to be leading them or is set to lead them in the direction of the land with milk and honey. And that is your promise and that is your breakthrough. We are going to skip down 
and it says my gosh this is good because it's not pharaoh it is the lord and it says however i know that the king of egypt will not let you go my gosh no not even under a forceful hand so i will stretch out my hand and strike egypt with all my wonders which i will perform in its midst and after that he will let you go so god is saying i'm fit for the battle if it is addiction if it is power if it is loneliness, if it is depression, whatever it is, if that strong man don't want to let you go easy, if he wants to put up a fight, guess what? I'm going to do just that. And that's what God is saying. He's saying, so I will stretch out my hand and strike Egypt. And Egypt represents what it is that is holding you captive. He's saying, I will strike what it is that is holding you captive with all my wonders, which I will perform in its midst. And after that, he will will let you go. So whatever has you in bondage, whatever is holding you down, if it looks like it has a strong grip, if it looks like it don't want to release you, God is saying, I even have a plan. I even have signs and wonders. I even have things set up that's going to make him to where at the end of the altercation, at the end of the confrontation, he will let you go. You will not leave there as you came. You will not still remain in bondage because after this thing is is over with. You are breaking through into that land of milk and honey. You are breaking through into that promised land. You are breaking through into that more than enough. You are breaking through into what you've been praying to God for. You are breaking through on the other side and it's nothing that Pharaoh, my gosh, the strong man or the devil can even do about it. And we praise God for it. So God has a plan for your situation even right now. It says, this is the good part. This is the good part. Now, I won't be before you long. I want you to share the video. It says, I will give this people favor, my goodness, in the sight of the Egyptians. Yeah. And it will come to pass that when you go, you will not go empty handed. This is the part that we're talking about. And I want you all to share the video. Make sure you share the video. Set another brother and sister free that is encountering this same warfare who needs to know that even though it looks like they were believing in God for the promise, even though it looks like Pharaoh has showed up, God has a plan to break them out of this thing. And right here it says, I will give this people favor. And that is 3 and 21 in the sight of the Egyptians. And it will come to pass that when you go you will not go empty handed but every woman will borrow of her neighbor yeah and of her that sojourns in her house articles of silver and articles of gold and clothing and you will put them on your sons and on your daughters in this way you will plunder the Egyptians so God is saying my goodness gracious that yes I know that Pharaoh is not going to let you go easy it even talks about how God we're going to get to where God is going to hard his heart and see many of us my goodness thank you holy ghost many of us we're trying to get out of the struggle too soon yes you're trying to get out of the breakthrough too soon and God is saying I don't want to just break you out of this thing I don't just have a destination of a land of milk and honey for you after this thing is over with but I want you I have found fault against your enemy that's what God is saying God is saying I have found that your enemy enemy, your Pharaoh, that strong man of sickness, illness, disease, that strong man of poverty, that strong man of loneliness and depression, that strong man of, of not being able to birth to full fruition what God has given you. God is saying, I have found fault with him. I have weighed him in the balances and I have found that he owe you, not just your freedom. See, some of us are trying to just get out free from Pharaoh, but God is saying, I'm going to make this Pharaoh pay. And and so what God is saying, I'm going to harden his heart and I'm going to make it a struggle. I'm going to make it a fight. And through the struggle, through the fight, you're going to qualify to take from the enemy everything that he stole from you. So it is not Pharaoh, beloved. It is not that supervisor. It is not that man or that woman. It is not the family. It is not the people that is fighting against you, but it is not Pharaoh, but it is the Lord. God 
God is saying, I have found fault with your enemy. I'm not just going to let him raise up the bar and set you free. No, he's got to pay you back for what he has done. He's got to pay you for every tear. He's got to pay you for every time your check came up short and you in poverty, the strong man of poverty had a grip on you. He's got to pay you for their gossip. He's got to, that, that strong man got to pay you for lying on you. And God is saying, even right here, it says, I will give this people favor. That's it in the sight of the Egyptians. So even if Pharaoh is trying to hold them hostage, they're going to have Pharaoh, they're going to have favor, come on somebody, with the other people. And it says, and it will come to pass that when you go, you will not go empty handed. So this is a setup. It's not Pharaoh, beloved. It's the Lord. God is making sure that you will not leave out of this situation just free with your freedom or your liberty or your peace or your mind. But you're going to leave out of this thing with spoils. And it says right here, but every woman will borrow of her neighbor and of her that sojourns in her house. And it says articles of silver. So that say, that means silver. Somebody say silver. And articles of gold. So that's gold. And clothing. And you will put them on your sons. Amen. Come on back. Hallelujah. And you all can always watch that replay. Make sure that you share the video as well. God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And it says, and clothing. So he's got, you're going to get silver out of this thing. You're going to get gold out of this thing. You're going to get clothing out of this thing. And the Lord said, and you will put them on your sons and on your daughters. And this way you will plunder the Egyptians. So God is saying, not only am I going to bring you out of this thing free, not only am I going to bring those promises and those breakthroughs to pass, not only am I going to break and bound the strong man that was in your life that was holding you back and stopping you from seeing the promises of God, but guess what? We're going to plunder them. You're going to borrow silver. You're going to borrow gold. You're going to take their clothes and just like they were walking around with those clothes on their children and had you in bondage and had you in slavery, you're going to take those clothes from them and you're going to put them on your children and your children are going to dress nice and your children are going to have wealth. So God is saying, I'm not just going to set you free, but he's saying, I have weighed your Pharaoh in the balance. I have weighed the strong man in the balance. And because you were captive as long as you were, because you were bound as long as you were, because you walked in the will of God as entrusted me as long as you did and did not lean to your own understanding, because people made a mockery out of you, because doubt tried to set in and the devil was trying to make you believe that God was not able to do it, because of everything that you went through, because you wrestled, because you cried, because you were oppressed, he's saying we're getting ready to plunder that thing. You're not just going to walk out of there empty handed. We're getting ready to plunder Egypt is what he was saying. You're going to plunder them. You're going to take spoils out of this thing. You're going to take gold out of this thing. You're going to take silver out of this thing. And he's saying, not only will you be blessed, my gosh, but your children is getting ready to be blessed. You're going to have enough to bless your kids with. Your kids are going to wear the clothes that you made for Pharaoh kids. Your kids is going to benefit from the servanthood in which you, you rendered to the Pharaoh that once ruled over you. Many of us should understand things as it relates into the spirit realm. My gosh, glory to God. Bless you, Fraser. Bless you, Minister Pamela Fraser. Many of us need to understand that you're trying to get out of that situation too soon. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. There was no way in the world that if Moses would have walked up there to Pharaoh, and if Pharaoh would have automatically let all the children of Israel go on day one, they would not have qualified to be able to get, they would not have been able to get the silver and the gold. They would not have been able to plunder Egypt the way that God wanted them to. And so that's why God set the whole thing up. And it says right here, however, I know that the king of Egypt would not let you go. No, not even under a forceful hand. So because Pharaoh wants to fight with you. So the fight, y'all, has been orchestrated by God. The fight has been orchestrated. He said, I know that the king of Egypt would not let you go. I know that addiction ain't trying to let you go easy. I know the loneliness and the depression is not trying to let you go easy. I know poverty and generational curse is not trying. I know it is a fight, but he's saying, 
even will not let you go, no, not even under a fourth hand. So I will stretch out my hand and strike Egypt. So God is saying, I'm going to make them pay you back with all my wonders, which I will perform in its midst. And after that, he will let you go. And then after it talks about the struggle, then it goes on to say, I will give this people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it will come to pass that when you go, you will not go empty handed. It goes on to say that silver will come out out of this thing. Gold will come out of this thing and you will begin to plunder the Egyptians. So it goes on to say, and I want you all to share the video. Make sure you share. Thank you for doing just that. So it goes on to say that after you have went through that fight, you're getting ready to be paid back. You're getting ready to receive interest for what it is that the enemy did to you because Pharaoh dealt so harshly with the children of Israel. Though That's the reason why the children of Israel was even able able to find favor with their neighbors because Pharaoh refused to let them go with a mighty hand their neighbor began to look and say man what Pharaoh is doing to these people is wrong let me give them some silver let me give them some gold let me give them some clothes because Pharaoh not treating these people fair Pharaoh don't want to let these people go so they can serve their God and so because Pharaoh struggled against the children of Israel it allowed their neighbors to find to give them favor it allowed Allowed their neighbors to have compassion for them. It allowed their neighbors to give them gold and silver and articles and to give them clothing because they felt so sorry because of the way that Pharaoh was handling the children of Israel. And so the thing is, you all, while you're going through that struggle, my goodness, while you're crying at night as the children of Israel did, and it even says how their cry had made it up to the Lord. Yes, he talked about how their cry, that's it, had made it up to him he said moreover I have also seen the oppression with which the Egyptians are oppressing them he even talked about how he had heard their cry and how their cry had made it up to heaven and so while you're crying my goodness while you're being oppressed God is sending somebody he's sending a deliverer we know that that being Moses in their case so not only is he sending a deliverer not only does he have a destination land of milk and honey but he's also sending some people that's getting ready to to favor you because they see what you're going through. They're get, he's getting ready to send some people that's going to have compassion for you, that's going to sow into you, that's going to minister to you, that's going to help you be able to plunder the very thing that was plundering over you. Just the way that Pharaoh was sitting up there and plundering the children of Israel, he had them enslaved, had them working hard by the sweat of their brow, making it difficult for them. Just as he was ruling over them, God is getting ready to send some people to pour into you. He's getting ready to send some people that's going to pay you back and make the, your taskmaster pay you back what it is that Pharaoh have stole. So y'all, this is not Pharaoh. This is the Lord. This is all a part of God's plan. And so many of us is trying to rush out of the struggle. But God is saying, slow down, baby, because we want you to leave with your spoils. We want you to leave with your silver. We want you to leave with that gold. We want you to leave with clothes for your children. Slow down. Don't rush out of it right away. Like we said earlier, if they would have walked out, if, if Pharaoh would have let them go day one, then guess what? Their neighbors would never would have had had time to favor them and have compassion on them so that they can plunder the spoils and get the silver and get the gold. So God has set it up for you to take your time. It might look like you're down. It might look like you're out. It may look like it's not working out in your favor, but my goodness, it is working out better than what you could imagine. Because not only is your destination going to be that promise, not only is your destination going to be that breakthrough, but your destination is going to leave you free filled with plundering plundering Pharaoh. Do you hear me? On top of that, y'all, we have to understand things in the spiritual realm. Amen. Now, in the spiritual realm, you have to work up enough credit. You have to go through enough trouble in order for you to qualify for something. I will never forget, and many of you all know my story. My mom was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. Amen. And so because of that, I grew up in a household where I was surrounded with just mental illness, surrounded with dysfunction. And as a child, I wanted to run out of that house. I was trying to like, you know, look, negotiate 
negotiate with teachers. I was trying to negotiate with family members. Well, look, y'all, let me come stay with y'all. Let me move in with y'all. I'm going to pack my little backpack. And I was doing this in my kindergarten, first grade. I'm going to pack my backpack. I'm going to come live over there with y'all. But what God was saying is, Ramonica, slow down, babe. I got something for you. Slow down, servant. I have something for you. And so what God was saying is, number one, my name, Monica, means counselor. So I was able to go to school to become a counselor. And because I was, because I lived in the bondage of mental illness, because I lived in that stronghold for so long, now God has blessed us with a, has blessed me with a counseling agency. So where the very Pharaoh that once ruled over me, the very Pharaoh that brought in child abuse, that brought in sleepless nights, that brought in hungry nights, because when your mind, mind is not right, come on, how many of you know that you suffer? So because I went through that long enough and I was able to understand mental illness, not just from the textbook, but I understood it from a personal place. I understood it from an experiential place. And because of that, God has given me not only one counseling agency, but he has given me two. So God is saying, I'm going to make that Pharaoh pay of mental illness. I want you to plunder mental illness. What it took from you, it's going to render you back gold. It's going to render you back spoils. It's going to render you back silver. And so if I would have ran out of the house quicker than I could have gotten in, how many of you all know that I would not have had enough equity in the spiritual realm to qualify to be an owner for two counseling agencies? I would not have that mantle of a counselor on my life. So I had to suffer to get that. But the Bible says that if you suffer with him, you will reign with him. Many of us, so even with the children of Israel, because they suffered, because God hardened the heart of Pharaoh and did not allow him to release them right away, that is what qualified them to be able to plunder Egypt. That's what qualified them to be able to take away the silver and to take away the gold and to leave with the spoils and to still make it to the promised land of milk and honey. So I just want to encourage somebody today that it is not Pharaoh that is keeping you in this situation. My gosh, it is not the people that's talking about you. It is not your family that's closing doors. It is not the people that won't open doors for you. My goodness. It is not the women or men that's gossiping and lying on you. It is not the supervisor that won't promote you or give you a raise. Whatever you have been believing God for that health report, it is not diabetes or sickness or illness it is not that that disease that is holding you but it is God it is the Lord saying I want you to stay in this thing long enough my goodness so that when we heal your body, not only will you be healed of sickness, illness, and disease, but you will walk out of this thing with spoils. You will walk out of this thing with healing power so that you will be able to have the power to touch other people and lie hands on the sick and lay hands on the ill, and they too will be made whole. So God is saying, slow down and trust me, because just like God hardened the heart of Pharaoh so that they can qualify with and get favor, number one, in the spirit realm but then in the spirit realm not only did they store up the proper equity but in the natural that poured down to where their neighbors had favor on them and their favor the, the neighbors poured um their favor out on them and gave them silver and gave them gold and gave them clothing so y'all god is doing this to set you up so that you can have the ultimate breakthrough the ultimate promise and not only will you plunder the very strong man that was plundering you but you're still going to make it to that promised land of, of um, milk and honey as you have been praying for as you have been believing in God for but when you get to that land of milk and honey beloved you will not go there empty handed the Bible says that they would, did not leave empty handed but you will arrive there with wisdom you will arise there with knowledge you will arrive there with overflow you will arrive there taking 
dominion over what it is that once had dominion over you. You will not only will you break out of that spirit of poverty, but you will also not only be free from poverty, but you will tap into a realm of wealth. You will tap into a realm of overflow and you will know how to spend that money because you would have learned how to do that in your poverty seasons. So even as it relates to relationships, even as it relates to connections, even as, even as it relates to your career, not only are you going to break through out of that financial situation where you were just in that position at the bottom, but God is going to break you out of that and he's going to put you at the top as the supervisor. You're going to be able to rule over the very supervisor that did not favor you, the very supervisor that talked about you, the very supervisor that denied you. God is going to break you and make you ruler over them. So not only are you going to break through from your Pharaoh, but you're going to show up in the land of milk and honey with spoils, with more than enough, with gold, with silver, and with clothing, my goodness, for the next generation, which is your children to come. And because of that, you're going to be able to say like David, it was good that they afflicted me. My goodness, it was good and it is well with your soul. So praise God in the midst of the struggle. Know that it is all a part of his plan. He is setting you up to give you equity in the spirit come on somebody so that you can receive favor and breakthrough and overflow in the natural believe it and receive it do share the video i love you all so much make sure that you visit our website at www.liveblessedglobalministries.com we have a men and women retreat coming up in baton rouge that you do not want to miss we're going to be having night prayer to break you out of those pharaoh situations come on because you know we're not wrestling with flesh and blood but we're wrestling with spirits and principalities so not only are we going to have night prayer bless you pamela fraser i love you lady love you so much god bless you for your support praise god for you this afternoon so at that baton rouge retreat that's going to take place july 21st as well as the 22nd you have time to set it up it is going to be 100 dollars. what are you going to be getting for all for for a hundred dollars that's a lot of money right well number one you're going to be getting hotel you're going to be getting two two days worth of dinner come on you're going to be getting food two days you're going to have a workbook that you're going to take home with you you're going to have night prayer where we're going to be interceding on your behalf in unity all together going before the throne of god making sure that no pharaoh will keep you bound you're going to be having a workshop teach me how to pray many of us are going through spiritual battles but we don't have enough you know spiritual fight in us to overcome the level of demonic attack that is coming against us amen so we're going to have teach me how to pray we're going to have the money doctor that's going to teach us about finances how to invest how to improve our credit score how to get birth those businesses that god has for us how to save how to get debt free that's dr yolanda griffin and of course she has taught for so many people she's even um, taught at pastor deborah b martin church and she has even and travel worldwide to do just that. We're also going to have Miss Loretta Petit, been in radio for over 30 years. She's also connected with Greater St. Stephen's and she's going to be doing the workshop, write the vision and run with it. So that's going to be teaching you how to manifest what it is that you're pregnant with into the natural realm. Amen. You're also going to have opening speaker, Miss Carla R. Cannon, the trailblazer. She is internationally known. She was one of the great speakers at the Queenology with Bishop Robert C. Blakes. In addition, we're going to have praise and worship by American Idol Jordan Dorsey. And then I will be your close out speaker. So you're going to be getting a lot. Of course, there is discounts for groups of twos as well as groups of five. Whoever bring the most guests or invite the most guests, you will be walking away with a flat screen TV, your organization that you are a part of. Amen. And in addition to that, we do have free sessions as well. So if you want to just drop in on those openings on the opening speaker night or even the closing speaker you can drop in for free come spend some time with us see what we're doing and we know that those free sessions are going to be friday july the 21st at 3 
I'm sorry, at 3 p.m. And then the closing free session is going to be July the 22nd at um, 4.30 p.m. I'm sorry, July the 21st at 7 p.m. That's right. It's going to be late. That's why we have hotel stay that night. But um, the free session is going to be July the 21st at 7 p.m. I don't want you to get out there too early. And then on July the 22nd, that next free session is going to be at 3 p.m. So come spend some time with us. We want to meet you. We want to see you. We want to love on you. God bless you. Don't forget to share this video. And I hope that you receive what the word of the Lord is saying. He's saying it is a setup so that your Pharaoh can pay you back equity. Come on now and give you overflow for what it is that you have experienced, struggled with, and encountered. So God bless you. Amen. Bless you. Bless you. And like I say, visit www.amenliveblessedglobalministries.com. Have a blessed afternoon. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you even for sharing. Amen.